For two of NASA's Story Space Shuttle Orbiters, the lights have gone out for the last time. Discovery and Atlantis were permanently powered down in December 2011 as teams at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida prepare the vehicles for public display. It was an emotional milestone for the technicians, test conductors, and system engineers who have spent years, even decades, preparing each spacecraft for its next flight. The final assignment for Discovery's processing team on December 16, 2011, was to close the 60-foot-long payload bay doors. Many gathered for one last look inside the shuttle's payload bay. Even at the Smithsonian, there's no plans to open those payload bay doors on Discovery. So as far as we know right now, those doors will never open again. Then it was time for the spacecraft operators on Discovery's flight deck to shut down the power. Actually, our center director, Bob Cabana, was there. So he actually pulled the plug on that power-up sign, um, and that was it for Discovery. December 22nd was the last day that work on Atlantis would require power. Its starboard robotic arm and KU band antenna were stowed inside the payload bay for the vehicle's upcoming move into temporary storage. So we were anxious to get as much work done on Atlantis and get to a point where we could then continue to do work on Atlantis in the vehicle assembly building while she was staged there in a waiting mode. Then the focus turned to the flight deck as Atlantis, known by the shuttle team as OV-104, was powered down for the last time. AC bus sensor one, off now. AC bus sensor two, off now. OV-104, final power down complete. Discovery and Atlantis have gone dark, but the team has one more power down to get through. Shuttle Endeavor will be next. It's sad, but you know, progress, you have to move on. So something has to be done, and I'm extremely proud to be a part of it till the end, extremely.